Okay, so now we're moving on to the upper quadrant for Dre as part of her trigger point release. Now, one of the most important things to release is the thoracic spine because of our postures, positions, lifestyles. It's getting very anterior dominator to tack down and the ability to express extension and rotation through the thoracic spine becomes very limited. It makes you over rely into the lower back extension and can turn the feet out in that external bias. Again, only allowing the front part of the muscle groups to kind of activate and can lead to over usage, exhaustion, pain, tightness, and unfortunately some injuries. So improving thoracic spine is huge. This is one of the general releases she can do. So she's working on scraping some of the tissues and said position of the thoracic spine first and foremost and then she works on rotation and she works on extension. It's important to note that when you're using a roller such as the Unity Lifestyle Grind Roller, when you're doing a particular movement like this, you're literally inching up your back because you don't want to miss an opportunity to stimulate an area that may feel tight, restricted, okay, or a vertebrae that may not necessarily be sitting in a good position. If you move aggressively from, say, mid-back to like the upper components of your back near your neck, you've missed an opportunity. So you don't want to move too fast. You're going to literally hit each inch of that section. And then you keep the pattern the same. Scraping a little bit and extending over the roll. Typically speaking, if you're tight, the extension is not going to be very good. It's going to hit a wall. So we'll follow this up with some more extensive trigger point releases. This is more of a general release pattern. 